Hiya, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Um, this video is going to be about something that I believe the government should um, introduce to obviously help young people get back into work. Now, I don't quite understand why this um, conservative government do hardly any of the things that they actually do. Um, it doesn't seem to make um, a lot of sense what they do, but one thing I don't understand is that um, we've got massive unemployment in in the United Kingdom. You know, you've got young people, you know, loads of young people out of work, and yet they seem to keep making it, um, uh, you know, higher in the age of retirement, making it harder for for old people to get their pension. And um, so you've got old people who, if you like, are having to stay in work longer. And you've got all the young people who are coming out of school. There ain't no jobs. Well, this don't make sense to me. I mean, I'm not, you know, I went to college now. I'm, I'm a clever guy. I'm educated. Um, you know, I know a lot. I know, I think I know quite a lot about politics. And, uh, you know, the economy, supply and demand, what makes things go up, what makes things go down. But, you know, you've only got to look at, um, look at this country with, like, the... Uh, um, you know, the employment situation, you've got people leaving school when they're trying to get jobs and they can't because there ain't no jobs. And then you've got this same conservative government are making it almost impossible for people to retire early um, to obviously, um, you know, leave, if you like, a happier life and do what they want to do. Um, they would sort of make you work to your 80 and have people coming out of school and have no jobs. You know, haven't the government realised? Haven't they realised? Are they that stupid? Haven't they realised that if they get these young people when they come out of school, if they train them, if they put them in jobs, if they get them working, if they get their minds going in the right direction, haven't they worked out that half these people who, who for want of a better word, are a liability to the state, they wouldn't be. Yeah, if these young kids were being trained and they were working and they were being guided in the right direction, they wouldn't be out committing crime. They wouldn't be out dealing drugs. They wouldn't be desperate for money like they are. So they wouldn't be doing all the things that are, are instigating crime in the community and causing so much harm. None of these things would happen. Yeah, it, it, to me, it just don't make sense. You know, how can a person come out of a job, he might retire at, come out of a job at 60, he's got a massive amount of money from his company, and then he goes and gets another job where he's earning loads of money, when really he shouldn't be working because he's got a load of money anyway. There's, there's, got, to be an, there's got to be more of an even distribution of wealth. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. If, if I was in charge tomorrow, I would lower the retirement age. I would make people... I would make people, you know, uh, you know, some people who work like in, uh, you know, in like, in like the services and all that, I'd be assessing them. Are they fit to do the job in the services? If they're not fit to do the job, you can't have a fireman of 50 years old working when, when you could have a young guy of 35 doing the same job. It just doesn't make sense. That guy needs to be not got rid of. He needs to be paid off. And that guy needs to lead, lead the rest of his life in happy retirement or perhaps get another job and release these more demanding jobs to the younger people. It just don't make sense to me. Like I say, I just don't understand how this government have not linked the um, the the crime in this country to unemployment. Yeah, it stands to reason. If you've got a guy and he's working 40 hours a week. He's not reliant on the state. He's not, he's not suffering with depression. He's not got all these things that come from being unemployed. If this person is working and he's getting that sense of achievement, he ain't going to go out and commit a crime. He's not going to do these things. Yes, you're going to get, you're still going to get some people that do that who decide that for whatever reason work isn't for them. And there's not a lot you can do about that. That's why you need police. Why? But we need to start looking at ways of, you know, like I say, I would lower the retirement age. 
I went to a DIY shop the other day. Well, I ain't gonna say which one because I don't know how I stand with the legalities of, of using company names. But I come out, I come out of this um, this DIY shop the other day, and there was a security guard. He must have been seventy years old. This bloke. I, I'm not joking. I wish it, 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 to me, it's madness. That man who's seventy years old, he should be on a golf course somewhere. He should be taking it easy. He should be spending time with his, spending time with his grandchildren. He should be stood at the exit of a DIY store. What's he going to do? He's seventy years old. Yeah, you know, honestly, he must have been seventy years old. This bloke. Them sort of he should not be doing that job. That's a young man's job. A young man got two or three kids. He should be doing that job. It just to me it don't make sense. Yeah. Very simple solution to a lot of the, is a very simple solution to a lot of the problems in this country. Yes, um, I admit that the um, government are trying to address address it now by making more people put into pensions and all that. You know, obviously from their pay, but that don't really that don't really apply if you're self-employed. You know, they're not looking at the overall. They're not looking at the problem as an overall. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to look at what is causing the problem. You know, the young, the unemployed, they're getting desperate, they're mucking around, they're getting involved in drugs. Let's get all these people in work. Let's get this lower the retirement age so these the elder people can go and do what they want to do and the younger people give them some hope. Yeah, they give them some hope. Let them leave school. When I left school, I mean, I'm 51 years old now. When I left school, I found it quite easy to get a job. I went for a couple of interview, interviews and I got a job. I got to come. It's, this government just don't want to do. They just don't want to do anything for the working class people of this country. I honestly believe that. I do not understand it. I can only believe that it's down to greed. Yeah, I understand why the government are um, raising the retirement age because obviously people are living longer. So their people, their actuaries that do all the, you know, Assessing what money they need to make these payments um, Obviously they need to save money and I understand that I understand economics. I'm a clever guy You know, I know all about it. I've, I've done you know, I've, I've done architecture and I what I've done at college encompassed a lot of different things I know about economics. I've studied it. I do generally know a lot about it, but you've got to look at You've got to look at the economy across a whole Yes, they might be saving a bit of money by doing by doing that, by raising the retirement age and making people have to work for longer. But what is it costing them long term? What is it costing costing them in the crime rate going up because younger people are out of work? What is it costing them in injuries that are happening as, as a result of these people being out of work? What is it costing them as a result of young people being out of, being out of work? Staying at home all day with their wife because they haven't got a job and having five or six kids. Have these all been taken into the equation? I don't think they have. To me, it don't make sense. Let the old people retire and live a comfortable life and let's bring on the young. Let's catch them as they come out of school. Let's catch them as they come out of school and start training them early into what is right, what is respectful, what is good, what is honest. Yeah, let's, let's put them in that direction. Don't allow them for a second to come out of school and be out of work. Don't allow them for a second to be in that mindset. Because it's all about mindset. Yeah, people, you know, I've, you see people when, and like you do, sometimes you form an opinion of them, but perhaps you don't always know their circumstances. You don't always know their circumstances. I was chatting with a guy the other day. He was telling me about a soldier. It was one of our soldiers. Um, I can't remember the old story, what he told me. But basically, it was one of our soldiers. He was sleeping homeless on the street. he came come out of the army, and because he had no fixed abode, because he'd come out of the army, he'd been in Afghanistan, he couldn't claim benefits. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. That geezer's over in Afghanistan. He's risked being shot. He's risk having his leg blown off. Why? These people should be being picked up and cherished. 
You wouldn't have a United Kingdom if it wasn't for the armies and for, and for the services who fought abroad. These people should be being cherished. You know what I mean? I'd say it rattles me. Absolutely rattles me, it does. But say, um, I hope you enjoyed my video. I do get a little bit um, wound up with it sometimes because I wish I could do more about it. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm only one person. But yeah, um, I'd, like, I'd like to know what you think in, in, in the comments. Uh, we might have differences of opinion, but uh, um, I'll, always, um, I'll always listen and uh, respond to your reply. Thank you. Please like, please subscribe, and I'd really appreciate it if you give my video a thumbs up. It helps me with my uh, YouTube algorithm or something. Thank you.